From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Last Observer – A Magic Battle for Reality by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. You can hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Tom Cruise has confirmed he will finally begin shooting the much-discussed sequel to the 1986 classic Top Gun. Cruise told an Australian interviewer, it's true, I'm going to start probably in the next year. I know it's happening. It's definitely happening. You're the first people I've said it to, you asked me, and so I'm telling you. In the movie, it's 30 years later and uh, Tom's just about to retire from his job at United Airlines. He freaks out, starts tossing passengers off the plane. A suicidal man in Alaska ended up killing his girlfriend with the bullet he shot into his own head. Even more ironic, he lived. And now 21-year-old Victor Simpson is facing a second-degree murder charge over the suicide attempt which happened on April 19th in Anchorage. Prosecutors say the bullet Simpson fired traveled through his head and hit 22-year-old Brittany May Hag in the armpit, striking her vital organs and fatally wounding her. In a court appearance Sunday, Victor said he could not afford $250,000 bail, even asked the judge, could we figure out if I'm guilty or not today? Sounds like there might be a little brain damage there, or maybe he just doesn't care to live. I mean, the guy did try to commit suicide once. Do you really think charging him with second-degree murder is going to give him reason not to do that again? A sinkhole has opened up in front of President Trump's Florida estate, Mar-a-Lago. Hey, it's, an, it's another ironic metaphor. There's apparently a live-action Pinocchio movie in the works. Would I lie to you about that? Sir Roger Moore passed away this week at the age of 89. While he was a great James Bond, he was no saint. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, he was actually, wasn't he? Uh, all right, never mind. A new dating app called Gatsby allows you to search through what's available out there while filtering out all those with a criminal record, meaning this will be a complete flop in Washington, D.C. That witch that was casting spells on Donald Trump, she's back and casting more spells. And to cover all of our bases, no, I'm not talking about Hillary. Katy Perry was offered $20 million to be a judge on the next version of American Idol, and she said, no thanks. So they said, all right, well, how about $25 million? And Katy said, OK, because you obviously can't make ends meet on a paltry $20 million per year. Kodak is getting into the cell phone business. Man, how cool is that going to be? Kodak, your phone might be able to take pictures like a camera. Now this, folks, this is a manly man. In Crawford County, Arkansas, 41-year-old Raymond Van Holsen was shot in the head with an arrow. Amazingly, he then proceeded to drive himself about six miles to the closest hospital. He was later flown to Washington Regional Medical Center in good condition, according to the sheriff's office. Meanwhile, authorities identified the arrow-wielding assailant as 42-year-old Kenneth Larrabee Meissen, and police are currently looking for him. Meissen stands about 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighs around 155 pounds, and has an average build. He has hazel eyes and short brown hair with a short beard and mustache, as well as tattoos on both arms. In other words, he looks just like about 500,000 other guys in Arkansas. Apple is now more valuable than the city of Chicago, 40% more than the Windy City's GDP. Then again, Apple isn't continually creating regulations and raising taxes on businesses, giving them incentive to leave Apple so they can afford to stay in business. The Marlar House mobile app is now available and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, watch Marlar House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marlar House store, see what's in my blog, and more. It's all in one app and it's free for iOS and Android users. You can download it right now at marlarhouse.com slash mobile or click the mobile tab at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. 
Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!